What is going on, everybody? Uh, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, I want to talk about the 90 day game plan. What you guys want to do in the next 90 days to be effective, especially in this new upcoming school year. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunny, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. One thing that is exciting is that we're starting the school year. For those of you guys who are in school, whether it might be in high school, middle school, or even you're in college doing your undergraduate or your graduate degree. And it's an exciting time because most people are going back to work and some of the people you just finished your summer and your vacation you're coming back some of you guys already started your classes some of you guys are getting ready to start your classes one thing that is vital and pivotal for this upcoming school year is that you have a plan of action a plan of action of how to have a successful year you know there's a famous sentence that says the people who fail to plan plan to fail so if you don't have an idea of how you want to strategically uh, be able to go about your upcoming school year, you may as well not go. And this may sound a little bit intimidating to some of you guys, but the reality is I want you to succeed. So to do so, I want to talk about the next 90 days. What you want to do in the next 90 days, about three months really, so that for most of you guys who are in school, whether you're doing uh, in university more specifically, it's going to be around your first you know, the end of your first trimester or your, or your end of your first semester going towards the Christmas season so you can prep yourself for the second half of the year in 2018. But the next 90 days are going to be very pivotal. We're starting in the month of September. So if you're watching this maybe later on, you can still be able to apply these principles I think is going to be able to help you. But in the next 90 days, I want you to be very specific. There's two different parts that we're going to be ta talking about. We're going to be talking about the mental side of things and then the physical side of things. Why is this so important? See, the mental side of things is important for you to understand that there's gonna to have to be a mentality change for you to be successful this year. So you cannot come with what you used to do last year, what you used to do in high school, now that you're in university and think that's gonna fly. You cannot apply what you did your freshman year, your sophomore year, or what you did in your undergraduate degree, now yet you're doing your master or your doctoral program. You have to understand that there is going to be a mentality shift that you're going to have to apply for you to be successful in this upcoming school year. So we're going to be talking about the mental side of things. See, the word mentality can be broken down in three things. So there is the men, which means me and you, right? There is the men aspect of things and there's the mental, which means the mind. So there has to be a mind shift. You have to be conscious of who you are. And then there is the, the TAL, which comes for also what we call the totality of a man. So you got to give 100% to the consciousness of your mind to be successful. So you might be able to do all the physical part that we're going to be talking about. But if you don't give 100% of yourself into what you're about to do, you're still not going to be successful. Some of you guys have tried halfway last year and did not work. How about we give it all this year? In this next 90 days, I'm gonna come often with these videos where I'm just talking to you. I thought about what is the most effective way to be able to communicate this message to you. And I thought it's just being frank with you. So we're gonna be having maybe longer videos when we cover more practical stuff, steps that you have to take during this next 90 days. So the mental side is quite important. And then there's the physical side of things. See, it's good for you to just be talking and be positive and keep a positive action, but positive thinking has to be coupled with action. Positive thinking has to be associated with what you're doing to position yourself for success. See, one of the biggest killer of success is procrastination. And I'll be the first to tell you, I remember when I was still doing my undergraduate degree at the University of Penn State, I was very active doing many other things, right? Uh, my mentality, I've always been a positive thinker. I've always been someone who was uh, the one that encouraged others, the one that was very cheerful. But I understood that being positive and not studying my work and not showing up to class and not doing the research or doing the lab is not going to help me succeed. So there are some specific actions you're going to have to do within whatever your field of research is, whatever you're studying, whatever you're doing during this time of education so that you can be successful. Because I understand that we 
might be studying a variety of things, right? So you're not all studying business, you may not all studying science or engineering, so you might be spread throughout different uh, various subject matters. So we're gonna be keeping these principles a little bit broad, and especially what you have to do physically. For example, one of the things I can give you today is you have to understand that there is no shortcut to success. There has, there has to come an integrity for you when you understand that the knowledge that you're acquiring, right, the steps you have to take, is gonna be in direct, the results of the knowledge you acquire is gonna be in direct reflection with the amount of work you're putting into acquiring that knowledge. Let me simply say this. So if you have some assignments that you have to do, homework, reading, research papers, and you give kind of like a halfway doing stuff, about 50% into it, 40% into it because you gotta go party, because you just wanna go hang out and chill with some friends because you know you deserve a break. Well, don't be surprised when your grades reflect the same result. Or maybe you might be able to say, well, Salem, listen, I've coasted for all these years. I don't know, it could be luck. I don't really believe in luck. It just could be that you've cut a break. Well, let me tell you, eventually it's gonna catch up with you. So my goal is I wanna teach you guys some principles on practical things you wanna do that's going to help you. Like for example, we're gonna be talking about time management, which is a critical aspect that you're gonna to have to understand during the school year. How much time should be you just spending on really the things that matter? Maybe it's time to prioritize really what's important. For example, when you think about how many credits you're taking this specific year, right? How many hours you're gonna be spending in class? Maybe it means that you have to specifically uh, mirror the amount of time you're spending in class, spending outside of class, or maybe double that time, depending on how you learn. So let me give you a specific example of something you can do. So for example, you're taking a class that is about three days a week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's about an hour each. That lets you know that you're spending three hours of that course in the classroom learning from the professor or whoever is teaching you. So if that's the case, you also have to mirror the amount of time you're spending in class, outside of class, studying the material. So which means, that means three hours per week devoted to studying the course material of that specific class. I know this might be like, oh, this seems boring. Well, the reality is, if it was easy, everybody would do it, said Eric Thomas. And I think he's right. See, there, there comes a time where you're gonna have to do some sacrifices, physically do some sacrifices, to get to the success level that you want to. That it might also means maybe sacrificing some entertainment for some time. You physically might have to give up, you know, maybe going out, partying so much, watching so much TV. Personally, I remember when I was at Penn State, from my first year, I already got rid of my TV. I haven't owned a TV <laughs> in the past, what, six, seven years. I haven't owned a television. I never owned a cable subscription. Why? Because I know where I'm trying to go and I know that many of those entertainment vessels can become a distraction. And I'm not saying that watching TV is bad. I'm not saying that watching your favorite show is bad. You probably should and all some time relax. But I'm saying that there comes a time where you have to focus. And this next 90 days is a time for us to focus. It's a time for you to focus. I say, I'm saying us because I want to come on this journey to help you, to help you every single week. We're going to be discussing a specific topic. If we miss a week, maybe I'm traveling, I'm on the way, I might pre-record a video and send it to you. The next 90 days are going to be critical, right? So remember, we're going to be talking about the mental side of things, which is a big portion of your success in the next 90 days. And really in this whole school year, and then we're gonna be discussing the physical side of things, what you have to do, the, the right steps, the techniques you have to put in place so that you can be successful. I want you guys to be successful. Uh, I think it is, uh, will be a big shame on us who have maybe passed along the way, uh, figure out some things and don't take the time to come and share that knowledge with our brothers and sisters who are, you know, a little bit behind us or who are facing challenges that we've faced in the past. Well, if this video was helpful, make sure you subscribe because a lot of great videos are coming on the way. But if this one is helpful, share it to someone else. Leave a comment below. What are some of the things specifically you want me to discuss? It's gonna be a great time. But until then, remember, you're God's very best. And I'll see you next time.